Hey guys, good morning, good evening, good night. I'm just preparing for my daily stream. Um, just exploring some virtual instruments and checking out plugins, things like that. So uh, we'll get started in just a few minutes. And today I'm going to explore a few new things for me. Spitfire resonate for example and i got zodiac from uh, uh, beat skills and a bunch of other uh, plugins from different uh, companies so gonna get started real real soon just gonna get the camera in Right, so I'm going to set my camera, see how it goes, because uh, my laptop is really, really uh, making things difficult. Seems like something is really bad going on, so I need to take care of that real soon. But in the meantime, I think we are on. All right, so let me know, let me know in the in the comments in the in the chat if you can, f you know, can hear me fine. I'm gonna start exploring Resonate by Spitfire, and this is a cinematic um, percussion, drums, huge sounds, uh, and as usual with Spitfire, it's uh, really. Um, simple user interface though uh, there is something that i need to learn and it is the difference between the standard and the grid and i didn't really have a time you know i didn't have time to explore the user manual as i usually do so uh, i'm gonna do that later today and so this is really uh, you know things that i use creating sounds, creating um, sound effects. It's really fun stuff. So you can see that the, the keyboard is limited to a um, certain area. This is the play area. And if we'll go into the preset, that's where you can get a lot of information and learn about how this uh, plugin is set. So we have different instruments. We have a barrel. We have a timpani, we have a water tank, and a thunder sheet. Hi, Holgi. Good, good morning. It's probably very late for you, but um, for me, oh, maybe it, it is uh, early morning for you. So I'm gonna get my first cup of coffee. And uh, thanks for uh, for joining. So, what time is it for you? Anyway, so le let's hear some sound. So you can see that we are at the barrel ensemble. And I'm just going to double click that. And again, apologies, my laptop is going to probably um, reboot itself. And that will be the end of the stream. So I'm going to just play a note. It's very quiet. And we have uh, the... Uh, these two sliders this is the um, expression it's mostly volume and then we have the dynamics and then we have this center when we're clicking this we have different options depending on the different uh, articulations Right, so we have a metal, we have a barrel kit, metal kit, and super ball. Mm -hmm. 
really hope you can hear this. And by the way, we can definitely add more stuff from Spitfire. So one of the things that uh, was recently released was uh, Polaris and Fink signatures. So uh, maybe we can uh, also get a little look into Fink. So uh, this is a lovely guitar plugin so what you can see here is the again the simple user interface and it's all about uh, Brady uh, it's all about think I I can't recall the name of the artist and we have this again the the center button here we can add more reverb and delay Right, beautiful. So um, the the idea here again is that we have, uh, yeah. But the, yes, the the Spitfire Spitfire is really quiet most of the time. I don't know why their libraries are very very quiet. So what I'm going to do is uh, just put um, like a limiter on the master bus. Let's do that and going to insert let's put maximizer and get this sound and i'm gonna check check the levels Hopefully this is uh, much better. Let's see how it goes. Right, and again, um, let's see what we've got here. And I'm just setting things up. So let me know, Hoagie, if it sounds uh, better now. Right, and I have a little bit of a latency issue. Let's get the uh, limiter, just a simple limiter. Right, and again, if you go into you go into the presets, this is where you can see uh, the different instruments. So we have Brady, that's uh, um, one of the guitars that was sampled. We have Festi, and we have Owell. So uh, I don't really recall the you know the, all the details. Uh, I actually have a r complete review on this, but they they have a, a bit of uh, you know different character so this one for example um, this is uh, orwell and uh, i think it's a it's a martin and here we have arpeggios And we have some more. Mm. 
right so this is the signature uh, series and there's a, a lot of other things that we can um, do like look we have uh, muted notes and two finger chords let's try this one And I think all the hey and music man <laughs> man in eighty two. Uh good evening. So it's it's my morning. And so we are we are exploring yeah, there's no sound. Let me check that. Yeah, so um, that's uh, ah, from the plugin. Okay, that's interesting. How is it now? Hopefully we're better. So this is the signature, the Fink signatures. So it's a very simple. It's actually uh, also uh, not that expensive, but um, since uh, since we are here for uh, some uh, some plugin exploration, I thought well maybe uh, maybe you guys want to uh, check out some of the uh, plugins by um, um, by Eventide. So. Uh, let me show you something um, about Eventide. So um, just uh, let's let's explore that and see what we've got. So um, I'm going to set up something, and uh, we'll, we'll get some uh, we'll get some uh, some of the plugins by uh, Eventide so they have their uh, plugin sale and it's really uh <laughs> it's really a fun stuff so uh I don't know if you if you saw all the uh, the plugins they have for uh, you know the H9 plugins and, and all that so I'm going to show you some stuff so uh Let's let's get those plugins in. So before that, um, let's open up their web page and um, right. So the uh, Eventide got all their plugins now. Um, I think up to seventy percent off, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff uh, that is really really fun. So um, let me show you. So for example, let's go with Eventide. Eventide. And we have tons of reverbs and delays and things like that. So uh, I'm going to just check some of them. Let's see what we've got with uh, the reverbs. So one of the reverbs that I really love is... Uh, is this one is the 2016 that was uh, a free one but they also have um, 2016 uh, reverb which is the uh, the one from the clockworks bundle <laughs> Uh, 
All right, so that's the the stereo room. Th that's the tw uh, 2016. But we also have um, crystals, for example. So this is uh, uh, a lot of fun. <laughs> Right, and there's uh, a lot of uh, different, just a lot of different presets, I mean, tons of them, and even artist specific. <laughs> How that sounds. <laughs> right, let's try some reverse delay. So we have octaves. Right, and you get that drone sound, you get the bass sound with this. So it's it's really cool. Let's try another one. And without. And with. All right, so these, th that's crystals, but we, we have lots of other stuff here. So for example, we have the uh, octavox and we have the quartavox so these are more uh, older uh, plugins that can create harmonies they are really really great <laughs> so again look at that so this is the single note Quadro Vox. Right, and you can see the notation grid here. And you can see the levels. You, you have the delay and the pitch shifting. So you can actually play with that. around with this so we have the seventh all right so that's very very cool stuff so we have harmonies we have rhythms and delays ACM, good morning, good day, <laughs> good evening. All right, so we are exploring some plugins. We're looking into some stuff by Native, uh, by Eventide, and uh, also uh, we have the Think Signatures by Spitfire Audio, 
and some other stuff so uh, yeah moving on they uh, they also have some uh, some other very cool plugins so we have the flanger mk2 flanger and it's a, it's a recreation of a specific hardware so it's a, it's a specific uh, i mean i actually have a, a video covering that i don't recall at the moment what was the exact uh, unit <laughs> So that's a flanger and we can have subto or something that is more intense. <laughs> right so uh guys make sure to say hello in the chat because i don't uh, I, I don't uh, know who's in and how many people we have in this uh in this live stream it's a kind of um random live streams that i'm i'm doing it's my morning it's about uh, six uh, half past six in the morning almost seven seven a.m just before i uh head to my day job um going going uh you know just to explore some plugins so we also have um some some of the more i'd say creative kind of uh plugins uh, reverbs so black hole is now half price i think and we do have uh, some other stuff here let's try let's try something else Let's try the uh, the plucked notes. Right, so that's the black hole. Now all the H9 series they have something very cool. So we have this uh, um, kind of bar which you can uh, actually map to. Um, to your mod wheel or anything like that and then you can create sort of uh, modulation here and just drag this dot here and now you can program this in MIDI and you can also do this can freeze the sound of course so it's pretty pretty cool it's just <laughs> frozen in time um, so that's black hole and we have some other we have uh, a shimmer verb so it's another algorithm from the h9 unit so it's a reverb but it also adds some you know some pitch modulation some uh, some added notes so we have the pitch here cool stuff do, do you guys want to see something from native instruments maybe you jam um, I mean any anything in particular uh, we can go and check out more different uh, plugins by eventide 
and uh, I mean check out the uh, the things that they have so if you have any questions or anything let me know um, again resonate is more for cinematic sounds it's a uh, huge drums timpani um, things like that so we have ensemble that is that is the resonate I'm gonna do a complete uh, just a complete um, video on that one glaze right so you want to see glaze let's let's have a quick look at native instrument stuff um, so we we should do we should do a live stream just for native instruments because it's really uh, it's really a lot of stuff. There's a lot of plugins that I can show you with uh, um, native instruments. And later this week they're going to release something new. So uh, I I can't really go into the details, but there's uh, there's a new um, library, a new contact library that uh, they're going to. Uh, release and some other stuff so uh, just watch <laughs> watch the uh, here you go so uh, wa watch the vi the you know the videos uh, later this week you'll see that I'm going to add uh, something new so a uh, glaze so glaze is part of the play series and the play series is uh, uh, it's really a contact library it's sample based library based on two layers so we have layer a we have layer b and we are sort of blending them we're balancing them and it's uh, it's kind of vocal related so if you i mean let's have a listen <laughs> right so uh, now the idea is that you can click inside see the samples we can just replace and we can replace the A or the B layer also the sound e engine and I actually have glaze in my channel hoggy so you, you'll have to check it I'm, I'm pretty sure I have uh, I'm pretty sure I have something on glaze um, <laughs> let me search that and uh, glaze yeah I should have something there you go so this is glaze. So I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put this in our chat. So if you want to go um, inside and see how it goes, um, so that's glaze. And there's a lot of things that you can do here. So it's it's not a just I mean many people just use the this page and we have uh, the macros, but you have to pay attention because when you select any of those uh, presets you see that the, these macros change they are particular to the part of the preset right and what you can do inside
inside, if you go inside, you'll see that we have a mod envelope and an amp envelope. And by the way, question here, I don't know how many people we have. I don't think we have too many people here right now. It's um, maybe it's too early or maybe too late for some folks. But uh, let me know if you guys want to do like a deep dive on synthesis, on synthesizers, how synthesizers work, what exactly uh, you need to know about synthesizers and how to create sounds. Because uh, talking about envelopes, mod envelopes or amp envelopes uh, without a background, it's kind of, um, it's kind of, you know, maybe boring for some people. So we have the mod envelope, we have the amp envelope, we have two LFOs which we can use. So if I'll take the LFO, and this is the LFO one, you'll see that we have sliders, all these sliders. So I can just pull the slider next to the filter, pull it down, and now the LFO will open and close the filter. <laughs> and I can set the rate now it really affects only layer A so I can go into sorry on, only layer B so I can go into layer A do pretty much the same um, something similar <laughs> All right, so uh, we can try some more uh, presets. Let's see what we've got here. And by the way, maybe uh, we can add some drums. Uh, did you see the ADSR drum machine? So I, I also have a video on that one. So this is really a, a cool plugin. No samples because uh, I changed the location. So I'm gonna fix that. I need to fix the location of the samples. I'm gonna do this some other time. Yeah, I just uh, messed around with this. Let's see how that goes. Yeah, it's not going well. Okay. All right. Right, so we have this drum machine. I don't know if you noticed that one by ADSR. It's really a cool one so we have 16 pads which you can map to uh, things like um, uh, machine and we have a lot of things that we can do and we can even split the transient and the tone the transient and the uh, and the body of the sounds so it's really really fun and we also have the sequencer so if we we'll go up here to the sequencer You'll see the sequencer and you can actually drag and drop this to your uh, dough, whatever you're using. different patterns here so there's a lot of things that you can do and if you're looking to program some you know some drums and you don't know exactly what to do you there's a lot of things that uh, just comes uh, 
built in and you can use you can just use the MIDI So that is glazed. I really hope I answered uh, the questions around this one. Right, and there's uh, a lot of other stuff from native instruments that I can show you guys, like uh, the latest one, Lores. Um, that's that's really a, a fun. A very uh, very interesting library so we have three we have three layers and it's based on um, I don't know how many I uh, maybe 16 different instruments that you can uh, select so some of them are you know, cello and violin but others like hardy guardy or Comanche things like that even voice and then it's all in the layers here So if you're looking for ambient sounds, something that is uh, sort of uh, uh, in the background maybe, but not only, cinematic stuff. Let's try some other presets. And again, I already a you know, big apology. Uh, I might have some issues with my laptop so it's uh, it's gonna crash sooner or later let's try another one so it's really uh, uh different kind of uh, of instrument and if we'll go into you see that this is the evolution series meaning they have plans to add more and we have reverb we have noise boost power So that, that is Lors, and uh, we can change. Let's change this one to, um, to a cello. We can uh, solo this layer, hopefully. Yeah, so it's a, it's a kind of a picking noise. But we also have three layers on the bottom here. So it's really interesting. So for each of those uh, instruments, if you select any of them, so I'm on the on this uh, on this one we have we have tremolo waves, then we have harmonic waves and we have P's. So each of those three, um, instruments can have uh, three layers so it's it's actually very heavy on the CPU and that's lores so uh, yeah that's uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you guys today some Spitfire stuff some eventide stuff um, if you have any any particular you know something you would like to see I'd be happy to show you guys uh, there's some other stuff from native instruments that we can uh, definitely check let's see what else we have and uh, things by Arturia and also I don't know if you um, if you heard but Synthmaster is now NKS ready and this is my uh, one of my favorite uh, synthesizers ever. It's underpriced for sure. So if you're looking for a great synthesizer, this is something you should definitely check because it's um, it's really 
uh, an amazing, amazing tool. It is a synth master. It has everything you need in it. And um, basically, uh, it's one of my first synthesizers. And let's see what we've got here. So um, don't want to check. So this is Synthmaster 2. So uh, let's see how it goes. Right, and I actually have a lot of uh, different, a lot of different uh, uh, preset banks that I bought over time. And we can just browse through those. Right, it's really a good one, and we can go and try some some sounds. Let's see. Let me try and find something interesting. Pluck string soundscape synth lead. Right, so basically we have we have two layers. We have layer A and we have layer B. Uh, sorry, layer one and layer two. And for each one, we have two oscillators. So I, again, it's uh, it's worth having a stream just to talk about this synthesizer and explore it. So let me know in the comments if uh, if you're interested to learn or deep dive into uh, SynthMaster Two. We also have an arpeggiator and sequencer, which is really great. So there's a lot of things that you can do here. And if you look into the oscillators, if I'll just select oscillator one here, you'll see that we have different types. We have basic, additive, wavetable, vector, audio in that can go. So if you go with, uh, with wavetable, there's just, I don't know, hundreds of wavetables. <laughs> And there's a lot of things that you can do with automation and modulation here. things that you can do here um, yeah um, so you have synth master one uh, well synth master one is definitely different from uh, synth master two uh, it's really it's really different because uh, synth master one is a simple synthesizer it has very good sounds but uh, it's still very simple. I can um, load it up so you can see the difference. And I do have an overview that shows uh, the differences between um, SynthMaster 2 and SynthMaster 1. So everything you need is in my channel. Um, SynthMaster uh, synth 1. Um, so what, what exactly is the difference? And there, there are a lot of differences, but still, Synthmaster 1 is very good. 
So first of all, SynthMaster 1 is a wavetable synthesizer. You, uh, you don't really have uh, a choice of, uh, of, the, of the oscillators. It's always wavetable. Good morning, Alexei. Boker Tov. Right, so we have two oscillators, we have two filters, we have a very limited um, modulation. So we have two LFOs, two mod envelopes, and we have uh, some basic effects. So it's very good, but it's still it's still limited. I, I really love the sound, it's really good, I have to admit. But uh, if you look into Synthmaster 2, you have two layers and for each one of each one you have two oscillators which can be any of the you know these types well, basic additive wavetable vector audio in whatever and then you have a lot of routing options so right now you can see that we have oscillator one and two going into the filter fil two filters and so on so i can uh, change the layout i can go with parallel i can go with split we have parallel, we have split. So oscillator one goes to filter one, oscillator two goes to filter two, and then they go into the insert effects. We can go in series, and we have modulators. So you can see that oscillator one can be modulated by a modulator um, uh, oscillator. So there's a lot of things that you can do here, a lot. And they have tons of uh, preset banks. If uh, if you look into, th they didn't incorporate this yet here in the banks, but if you look uh, here, I, I have a lot of banks. These are the banks that I purchased. Um, so I, I'm really a fan. So every year when they have a sale, I jump on it and buy those uh, preset banks. They're really, really good. <coughs> also have chords so I really love that one um, let's see where where can I find the chords uh, th they changed the, the the you know the whole browser thing here so they they used to have chords and stuff okay chord yeah let's see <laughs> And the way it goes is that if you if you look into how things set here, it's really really easy to understand. Once you get the idea, it's really fun stuff. So uh, that's Synth Master Two. Right, and 
what time is it we're almost done i'm gonna finish this uh stream so if you if you enjoy this one and you want to uh say thank you just leave uh comments like the videos that i do check check my channel for more videos if you can't find anything let me know just uh find me on twitter okay i'm gonna put the link in the description i mean in the um in the chat so my twitter is uh zisser that's my last name and so i'm gonna put this here so you're most welcome to follow me in twitter this is where i update about stuff and there's a new group that i'm um, just created for deals and uh, discounts on different uh, uh, plugins and virtual instruments so i'm going to show you that be sure to join uh, this uh, this new group plugin and uh, plugin deals so uh, let me put that as well over here and again if you have any questions or anything you're always welcome to uh follow my page my facebook page all these links are in the description of all my videos so um you can go there and uh, follow me and, and ask questions and of course in the discord um in the discord server that i have so uh that's where you can find me as well the audio with the audio discord server so um that's a, a very good place to be and uh, share and ask questions and whatever so that's uh, another place and of course you can consider um just uh, joining the um the channel membership uh, which means that you are uh, you know you're gonna get uh, special discounts special um special coupons and sessions uh, with me um uh, just regular sessions where we work one-on-one -on -one and I, I can teach you stuff and show you around so you can click the join button uh, under my videos so if there's anything else you want to see by uh, eventide before this uh, promotion ends and um, you know just let me know and we can do something about it i'm not sure i'll be uh, here tomorrow morning same time probably yes so uh, check the channel I'm going to try and do this daily and if there are any requests or anything let me know and I'll do my best to um, you know to get around that so if there's anything by UGEM by UVI um, native instruments all these guys just let me know and I'll be happy to show you and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much it so uh, thank you so much for uh, joining this uh, stream and we'll be exploring more um you know more sounds and more plugins as we go of course you can uh, always go to my channel there's a lot of stuff there and as you can see i have tons of stuff and um let me know if you're interested in learning more about machine right so um i have this one here Okay, so let me know if you want to see uh, stuff related to uh, the expansion packs and um, creating music with Nishine. Um, I'm going to turn it on. So I'm preparing some stuff for you. And uh, yeah, we didn't cover 40s, 40s uh, very own drums and 40s very own keys that they released also through... Uh, the uh, the play series so uh get the camera right guys so that is it for today thank you so much for joining thank you for uh, uh you know for all the questions and anything and i'll see you very very soon thanks bye bye and good morning good evening
Hey, Alexei, I'll see you soon. Yeah, thanks, uh, M Music Man 1982. <laughs> and we have Hoggy and Alexei and any other guys that uh, joined this one. So uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.